women don't, hey, women are like, you need to treat me like a wife before I, I, I like, I behave like a wife. Put the ring on it and then I'll be a wife. It's like, no, 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 no. Correct. Men, we, we expect you to be a husband before you even get in our pants. You have to take us out. You have to provide for us. You have to take us on a good time. You have to do all this stuff before mm-hmm. we let you have access to the ultimate prize for men. So I'm just trying to show, obviously it's extreme. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to show that we have to, women have to cultivate qualities of surrender, of vulnerability, of being able to be led by a man and to follow him and to serve him when he needs served. Yeah. Now, women don't do that today, but that's why if you flip a coin and toss it, your marriage is going to end. And 40% of first time marriages end. Yeah. So what we're doing is not and, working. And I think 60% but, of second marriages and 70% of third marriages. Correct. Um, but here, here, and I want to get the lady's opinion here. Um, what you're talking, you're saying this is, uh, uh, corrections are needed across the board. Women need to treat a man like a god and then he'll behave like one. He'll treat you like a queen. Everyone's like, I'm going to be treated like a queen. But you act like a little bitch. Like you're like, you need to do this. You need to buy me this. You need to only look at me and only fuck me. Women are delusional. Men are going to fuck other women and they need to get over it. Straight up. Straight up. So that's what women need to understand. Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) Jeanette L. Women Uh, don't like me because I speak the truth. Okay, so so you put all men in that category. High value men. Remember the higher the six over six feet make six figures. Six pack meaning fit. I just like the sixes. Mm -hmm. Six inch over six eggplant. uh, Six inch eggplant, and then not married. Like those are the those are what women really want. Maybe some of the stuff's a little extreme, but it's just fun to use those analogies, right? But they've done the the polls on it. Big, strong, athletic, money making. The packing some heat listen, dudes who one, are not married that's what you're talking their, about correct and we know that oh, 80 percent of the women are sleeping with 20 percent of those men now if yeah. you want a beta male and you want a guy to make you feel secure and safe and love you and simp you simp on you you can have that and he probably will be loyal to you but he'll probably still step out maybe not as much but here and there because men just cheat the stat, stats show it women cheat emotionally so if you want that type of men tall dark handsome we're just abbreviating it here. Mm-hmm. You have to expect that he's going to fuck other bitches. And the more that women can just get and and, and, and understand that, okay, if you want that type of man. Wow. Victoria, I, I when you I'm hear this. I think I'm just going to die alone. This is right. not it. So, yeah, well, I, I've got to get your... Like, is, would you agree that both these ladies are lovely, They're gorgeous, feminine, and I know they don't like me and right great now, personalities? No, no, no. no, no this is this not is great perspective. You know, Guys, don't hate the player, speaking, hate the game. She's speaking the truth. Okay. Like, you know what? I, 99% of men cheat. Like, it, it's so true. Like, even my hot friend, she got... Che- like, the hot... Um, what, wait, who just came out? Adam Levine just cheated on a Victoria's Secret model yeah. with, like, some dumb Instagram hoes. Like, yeah. come on. Men cheat. That's like, right. I'm sorry. But like, that doesn't mean true. that you ladies are going to need to be okay with it. No. But I don't okay. think she's saying that we need to be okay no, with well, it. Well, but she kind of is. I kinda, I kinda, I'm saying that you don't have to be okay with it. Then go for a lower value yeah. man or a beta or a So sex. I'm going to go for a beta man. And there you go. <laughs> and you'll be perfect. Problem solved. Sorry. Well, well, you'll be married next time we'll we see you. Out there. <laughs> then, then that is the <laughs> eternal question. Would you rather have that boss ass dude, right? Everything we just talked about, the 6666 thing is just athlete cool athletic money maker you know gentleman not cool married, fun not married uh, not, not married okay mm-hmm. um but there's a chance that the higher the value that more he's gonna yeah there's a chance that he exercises cheats. options I think or a- someone that maybe doesn't have all those qualities and he's not you're not that attracted you to him as much. much money right doesn't make as much he's maybe not as good looking maybe not as in shape what have you but he's loyal to you, and no he's more feminine, problem. And he'll probably let you lead the relationship. You will lead the relationship. I, I get that these are <laughs> complete, like you know, ends of the spectrum. There's always binary the type questions, and life doesn't work that Can way. Can I at but... least get over six feet though? <laughs> <laughs> right? <Why> Interesting. <laughs> she said, "I want to wear my heels." And so really? <laughs> so of those three, okay, a what would you pick? Let's I just mean, go. Let's know, just address that. Life isn't fair, so you're not going to always get what you want. That's right. So. My mom always is like, you know, date someone who's like 20% less attractive than you and you'll be happy and secure. Because really? they're going to be more yeah. into her than she is into. Uh, they're going to like. In our it, friend group, that's what we say. Correct. Yeah. But do you even find those guys who are like no, super attractive, even, attractive? Okay, look, I talk about this on my TikTok all the time. Even the medium ugly ones have an alpha male complex. So you can't even. I mean, like I'm them. having to go like 50% less <laughs> attractive. <laughs> 
like I'll take 50. So this is something that women discuss is like, oh, oh yeah. so meaning if you see a guy and he's like a super good looking guy, or you're like, yeah, too much work Stay for me away. to retain that guy. Yeah. Really? He, he's not going to simp on you. You no. have to understand how many girls are on his dick. Like, he's just not going to do it. Like, if I want a compliment, I'll I'll have to ask and say, hey, how do... How does this dress look? Or I asked him the other day, I said, Can you tell my butt's been getting bigger? And then he looked and he's like, Is it just the pants? Or and I said, No, it's not just the pants. But like you have to if you're with an alpha man that's getting all that attention from you're not gonna get compliments. You have to ask it. You have to be secure. Huh. And a lot of p- women are like, Oh, you're insecure. It's like, no, I'm not. If I I could land a guy my age in Newport Beach, the land of the MILFs, and all the money. And, <laughs> the land of the MILFs. And, and, and be taking care of my son and I taking care of for life. I, I told I told the cab driver how many offers I got just this year for that. But I would not be attracted to him. Not huh. sexually. And to me, sexual polarity is the most important thing. It's what I preach. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.